Hey guys, I'm back with another review. So today I'm going to be reviewing Need by Carrie Jones. I also have a review for this on my blog if you guys are interested in reading it. And so I really, okay, I really like this book. I gave this book a 4.5. So at least four lily pads. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. This book is very underrated. And honestly, um, this book has been on my TBR for a long time. But I never actually knew what it was about until I read it. Like, I forgot what it was about. And, um, I, I know that this book got a lot of hate. And I honestly don't understand. I don't really understand why most people didn't like this book. I really enjoyed it. Like, most people gave it, like, two or three stars. But I really liked it. So I'm going to describe the book to you guys. As you guys know, my reviews are spoiler free. So don't worry. You guys can watch this even if you haven't read it yet. So, Need is about a girl named Zara. Yeah. <laughs> it's about a girl named Zara. And basically, her life is in danger. So, her mom thinks Abby is in danger, so she makes Abby move to Maine to live with her grandmother. And Maine is a small, quiet town, and it's always cold there and it always snows. And so, basically, Abby's a new girl in town. She goes to a new school. And you guys probably know what happens. And so when she goes to school, she meets two. She meets his two kids, who she ends up becoming friends with, and their names are Is Issy and Devin. So she ends up becoming friends with them, and then she meets these two guys that are in her grade, and they're both interested in her. There's this guy named Ian, who is an overachiever, and then there's Nick, who is a bad boy. Well, not really, but he's described as a bad boy, but he's really not. And so they're both interested in her. And so Abby finds out that the town has secrets. So basically, um, these boys keep getting murdered or kidnapped. And Abby wants to go out and find out who it is that's doing that. And Abby's actually really scared. Oh my gosh, I just said Abby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, Zara. So sorry. Zara. Zara is getting creeped out because whenever she goes outside, she hears this mysterious voice calling her name and she doesn't know who it is there's this mysterious guy in the woods and she tries to figure out who it is but she can't figure it out so the book is about pixies which i thought was really cool because i have never read a book about pixies before so she finds out there's people in the town who are pixies and Guys, this is not a spoiler because I'm pretty sure this is in the description plot at the, in the back of the book. Um, Nick, the guy she met, he's her love interest, by the way. Nick is a werewolf. Yeah, he's a werewolf. And he's basically, you know, the guy who saves her and, and you know. So what did I think about this book? I really, really liked it. No, I actually didn't. I actually haven't read many paranormal books, but I actually love par the paranormal genre. So I'm definitely going to be reading more of these books in the future. So, since since I haven't read that many, I thought this book was actually very unique. Now, if you look at the cover, to me, to me, I thought this was a vampire book. It kind of looks like it, but it's about pixies. But you can see the gold dust. Or it's supposed to be the woods. Okay, so what did I like about it? First of all, I'm going to talk about the writing. I thought the writing was actually pretty good. Okay, the writing was really easy to get through. Um, I pretty much flew through this book. I read this book in like a couple of days, which is actually good for me. Um, yeah, so I just went, I just like Carrie Jones writing style. Um, let's talk about the characters. I loved the characters in this book. Oh my gosh, Carrie Jones did an, did an amazing job developing these characters because I really liked them. Um, first I'm going to talk about Zara. I really liked Zara. She was a really good, strong, normal character. She was very smart. And I liked her because um, she's all about saving the world. I liked Nick, who is, who is her love interest. He was a good guy. He's that typical paranormal creature who protects the main character. Um, uh, but my favorite, I think my favorite characters in this book were her best friends, Izzy and Devin. I loved them. So Izzy is her best girlfriend. 
And Izzy, she's so cute and so sweet. I just loved her. And then I love Devin. Devin's um, Zara's other best friend. He is so nice too. He got in an accident, so he has to he has to be in a wheelchair every day. And I loved him. He was so sweet and nice. And like Izzy, he was such a great friend to Zara. I just loved him. So oh, I also liked her grandmother too. So I basically liked all the characters in this book. They were really well developed. So if you guys are looking for um, a, a paranormal book that has well developed characters and a good romance, I'd recommend this. Oh yeah, then for th I forgot to talk about the romance. Um, I actually enjoyed the romance in this book. The, the romance wasn't insta love. It wasn't. It, it didn't feel rushed or forced to me. I actually really liked the romance. Was instead of chapter numbers. In the beginning of the chapter, there is a phobia because the main character, Zara, she loves phobias. I don't know why, she's just interested in phobias. And I sort of thought it was really unique that that Carrie Jones put phobias in here because it was actually really educational because I got to learn phobias I never knew. I never knew about, I never heard of. So I will show you guys a page if you guys can see this. You guys can see that, but yeah. So for every in the beginning of every chapter, there is a phobia instead of a chapter number, and each phobia has to do with the chapter, which I thought was really, really cool and unique. I have never read something like that before in a YA book. If you guys are looking for a really great paranormal book that has different characters and well-developed characters, a good and a good romance, I would recommend this book. And guys, just ignore the bad reviews. If you guys want to read this book, please let me know in the comments. If you guys have read this book and you did or did not like it, please tell me in the comments. But please don't, if you guys have read the other books in the series, please don't spoil me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, stay tuned for more. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.